Hello, my name is Tong Li, a senior software engineer at IBM, currently working on hyperledger fabric. Today, I'm going to talk about hyperledger cello project and how to use it to stand up a fabric network in an environment you might have. Cello Ansible agent was added to Project Cello six months ago. It was developed as an independent fabric deployment tool. Later on, it was adopted by Cello project. Ansible agent now is part of Hyperledger Cello project. Ansible agent uses Ansible to create virtual machines in various clouds, then install, deploy, and config needed software onto those target machines. Normally, you will have a computer as your Ansible controller, which will run the Ansible playbooks to accomplish various tasks. The Ansible agent will work with a cloud a set of physical machines or local virtual box VMs if you're a developer. Ansible controller will run a set of playbooks with your configuration, eventually have a fabric network according to your own configuration running. There are three steps to stand up your fabric network. Step number one is to create some virtual machines. If you choose to stand up your fabric network in a cloud, then you will need to have a account from the supported cloud such AWS, Microsoft Azure, or OpenStack Cloud. If you choose to do this using a set of physical machines, then you will need to do a bit of manual work so that Ansible agent can access these physical machines <clears throat> through SSH. In this talk, I will focus on how to stand up fabric network in a cloud. Step number one is to create a set of virtual machines that your fabric network eventually will be deployed onto. In step number two, these machines will have dependency software such as Docker, overlay network like flannel, registrator, and DNS services installed and configured. If you choose to use Kubernetes, then a fully functional Kubernetes cluster will also be created. Step number three is to deploy necessary fabric components onto these machines. Those components are typically peers, orders, Kafka, Zookeeper, in Fabric CAs. You also have the option to build those components uh, if you want to have the latest code running in your environment. You may also notice those uh, circle red arrows from one step back to the previous step. Those arrows indicate that from one state, uh, you can fall back to the previous step. For example, while you're trying to finish up the step number three, something happened, you will be able to run just one command to fall back to the end state of step number two. Here, I'd like to talk a little bit about how Ansible Agent was designed. Ansible Agent was meant to help fabric operators easily stand up a large fabric network. So we choose to use battle-tested tools like Ansible. So we want the, all the steps to be complete automated. Um, each step is re repeatable. Uh, if something fails, you can either uh, choose to run uh, reverse for that particular step, or you can repeatedly run that step and the result will be the same. So we want to also make sure that uh, this thing is cloud-first. We support um, a typical 
uh, most popular uh, cloud like AWS, uh, Microsoft Azure, OpenStack, or other uh, cloud uh, environment. So we want to use the net services like DNS, container registrator. So when the container comes up, the container does not need to um, use the IP address to access other containers, uh, which are part of the fabric network. So uh, containers can simply use the uh, names for the container to access uh, other containers. Regardless, you use Ansible agent to set up, develop, test, or product environment, the steps uh, to do things are absolutely identical. So we want to make sure the Fabric Network topology is fully configurable. The only thing you have to do is to use the sample configuration files as a base. And you just need to change some of the values in the configuration file then you're good to go. We don't require a lot of things to be done before you run the Ansible playbooks or use the agent. Um, for example, if you want to deploy the Fabric Network onto a cloud, all you have to do is to have a account from that cloud. You will see those demonstrated in a later uh, section of this talk. Because Ansible agent was developed to use Ansible, so you can run all the plays, uh, one play or some combination of plays as you wish, especially important for development. A bit more about how Ansible agent was implemented. Uh, as I mentioned, Ansible agent uh, was using Ansible and the agent itself actually is just a set of uh, Ansible playbooks. When we're trying to deal with cloud, we just use Ansible cloud modules. For example, if you wanted to create virtual machines on OpenStack, we use OpenStack Ansible cloud module. When we deal with AWS, then we use um, AWS Ansible cloud modules and so on. Um, we also create a few um, top level playbooks for typical deploy scenarios. For example, um, you know that uh, your environment will be pretty much based on, on Amazon cloud. You don't really care a whole lot about OpenStack cloud or other cloud. Uh, in that case, you will simply uh, run all the steps uh, using AWS. And in that case, we already created AWS uh, uh, k8s.yaml file as a top level playbook. All thing you have to do is just run one command. Then from zero, from like you don't have any virtual machines to have a few nodes um, and a, a running fabric network in few minutes. You will see those demo later on. As I mentioned earlier, there are three steps to achieve the goal. Uh, first step is the provisioning. Then we prepare each node, install dependencies, set up over a network or Kubernetes, registrator, DNS services. And one other thing is the last step is the build and deploy. You can choose to build the binaries, the dark images from the latest code if you wish, or you can pick a particular level or release a fabric to build. During the process, we also create a lot of certificates which are required by fabric network. For example, uh, a peer or an uh, order will need certificates. Um, if you enable TLS, you will need the server certificates, uh, those keys as well. All this is done automatically for you. Uh, you just need to, to set the flag in the configuration file um, how you want it to be done. 
Regardless, you want to do all these things in one note or multiple notes, the steps are the same. You just need to specify how many nodes you want in the configuration file.